driving through the new forest just now down near um, Southampton. I just did a day for uh, Dunlop Strixon, which is quite cool, with some of their professional golfers and uh, Jack Draper. Um, and then uh, it's our last day with the car, so we decided to drive down to Southampton and give it a bit of a one last run before having to give it back tomorrow. It was a beautiful day, so a quick uh, been driving it for a couple of hours or so. Now we're turning around to go back home. But it's been cool, hasn't it? Man? It's been amazing. Yeah. And it's beautiful around here. It's such a nice part of the yeah, part of the country. Battle of the Brits finished yesterday, which was um, it was a lot of fun actually. I mean, it was seven days. It was long. It was a lot of tennis to get through. Um, but it was great fun, I mean so much chat between the teams, a lot of sledging, a lot of trash talking, it was very funny. Um, I'd never played anything like it actually, but it was kind of, it was everything that I thought the event could be. Um, I'm so glad it kind of turned out the way it did. Um, all the players really bought into the, into the event so into it from ball one on Monday to the last ball on, on Sunday night. Um, couldn't have planned it any better really than it came down to the very last match. Um, it was awesome to see all the players, um, men and women, coming together to play in, in one event. Um, all the best British players and uh, great opportunity for the young ones to you know, showcase themselves uh, to the British public. Um, they're going to be the faces of British tennis for the next sort of 10 years or so, so um, I think it's great that the public kind of start to get a bit of an insight into them, uh, get to know them a bit, so that was really cool. Um, and also for the, the older generation um, to be around them, I think, for the, for the week was, uh, was, a good, uh, was a good experience.